guys, I wanted to do a real quick um, video here. Um, it's dinner time and everybody's eating. Everybody's eating their food and I usually uh, brush them while they're eating. I always mess with them. Uh, double check everything from... <laughs> look at him. Jarvis, you always make a mess. Oh, okay. There's Arrow. There's Arrow the cat. She's not an outside cat, but um, she thinks she is. So she comes out and she hangs out with the horses <laughs> when I feed them. I don't know what it is that she's looking for. I don't think there's any mice, but anyway. Um, I always brush them. And I wanted to show you something about Darcy's coat. Um, Darcy, we think, is um, has Cushing's disease. So Cushing's is um, metabolic? Metabolic? Thing. I, I, I've got to do some more research on it and before I decide to explain it to you guys, but is she? <laughs> he sees her back there. <laughs> Arrow, that was very, very dangerous of you. Come here, come here, come here. Come say hi to YouTubies. This is Arrow. Arrow, come here. Come say hi to the YouTubies. They like kitty cats. So she, uh, we rescued her uh, from the Gaston County Animal Control. She's uh, five years old. She's declawed, which is why she stays um, inside most of the time. So anyway, um, <laughs> she's gonna mess with the horse's tail. Um, anyway, so. We think uh, Jarvis has, uh, not Jarvis, Darcy. Darcy has Cushing's disease. And I'll put a, a link in the comments area, um, or in the description area, I should say, and um, about Cushing's disease and how, you know, it relates to horses and stuff like that. So I wanted to show you his coat real quick. Here, play with the brush. Let me see if I can turn this around. No, I don't think I can turn this around, so I'm just going to have to wing it. Alright, hopefully you guys will be able to see this, and that my camera will um, focus in a little bit. So, this is his normal winter coat. This is nice and straight, as you can see. It's nice and straight. Up here, um, it's a little wavy. So it's got a wave to it. Um, and over here, back down here, on his haunches, it's very curly. And usually this is indicative to Cushing's disease, his curly hair. And it goes all the way down to his, his feet. Um, but the really weird part is, is look how it's separate. You know, this is straight and flat, and then it kind of curls up in a little bit. Stop moving, buddy. And then this is like all curly, fluffy. It's really weird, it's very, very long. So, his gut is making all sorts of noises. So, I'm not really sure what's going on. The people that had him before clipped him. This is his old coat. This all this super light stuff. And then, like right here, it flattens out. <laughs> so, it looks like really funny at parts when he lays down. And then it gets, it's all flat. And then it gets curly again down here by his belly. So, I know, buddy. I'm messing with you. And this is very, very thick. I mean, really super thick. Look how thick that is. That is really, really thick hair. So, the vet thinks he's got Cushing's disease because this is indicative to it. But, the thing is, and this is kind of straight. This is all straight stuff. I know. I know. What do you do? Did I give you too much mush? Yeah, probably. But this is all straight. When we first came here, all of this was all curly. And um, let me show you the other side. Easy, easy. I'm right here. No, the other side is the same way. Mm, sorry. It's kind of like the parts here <laughs> in his little seam. I think this part is so adorable. I think it's so cute. It goes all the way down. It's so cute. But, um... Again, it's it's flat up here, and flat all here, and then you can see where it gets curly right down, sort of, more so on the other side than this side, because this side, the, 
it starts to about get curly here, where the other side is a little bit higher up. But yeah, this is really good. You can see exactly how long that is. That's very long. Um, you're going to get kicked, little girl. And I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> so I'm going to move away. I'm going to let you guys... You really think that's going to work. Did you just see her? She hissed at him. So anyway, yeah, um, it's not really curly up here anymore. It's gotten really kind of flat up here. So his diet, this is all from last year. All this, this light stuff is from the last year that didn't fall out. And his diet was just terrible. Um, the people fed him nothing but sweet feed and he's a draft horse and anybody that knows draft horses knows that um, you can't feed um, a lot of sugar to a draft horse because their, their metabolism, they just can't take it. Their system, they can't take all the sugar. You are going to get in trouble, cat. You see her behind his feet? Watch out, the kitty's going to get kicked. <laughs> Silly arrow. He knows she's back there. So yeah, um, so anyway, that's his coat. It's kind of weird. And um, it's got this big, beautiful double mane. But um, So I wanted to point a couple things out about possibility of Cushing's disease. But again, as I said earlier, um, Cushing's disease usually has really bad feet. And he's got amazing feet. Aside from the ring bone in, the, in his front feet, He's got amazing, amazing feet. At least that's what the farrier says. They're very hard. Even the vet. When I took him to the vet, they did a, a sensitivity test on him. Arrow, you're going to get in trouble. Jarvis won't tolerate you. Um, they did a sensitivity test on him. And he was really, like, gripping really, really hard. And um, he wasn't flinching at all. So... So, yeah, um, so he doesn't show any other signs. You know, he's, he's gaining weight. She's going to get kicked. <laughs> Did you guys see that? I hope I had that in frame. I'll let you guys just watch him for a little while. Now. Arrow, you done pestering Mr. Darcy? Arrow, Katie. Now she's going to come over and pester Jarvis. And he won't tolerate it. Because he won't be able to see her. Let's see if she gets in trouble. Horses are so mean. So mean. Just totally ignoring this cat. Alright, well, uh, these guys are almost done with their dinner. So, uh, I'm gonna keep Jarvis from pushing Mr. Darcy away. Ah! Ah, ah! No, sir. Go on. Thank you. I almost was too late. Come on, Mr. Darcy, come back. And that's probably why he was so skinny when he came to us because um, the other horses kept pushing him out of his feed and he's so much of a weenie. <laughs> he's like totally the bottom of the, the totem pole. I know, I called you a weenie, I'm sorry. But you're not dirty today. Um, so he's so at the bottom of the totem pole. Oh well. Have a good night, guys. I, I'll see you later. Bye.